In this video, I will show how to use the time clock for technician labor tracking within Total Management Evolution software. The time clock will preferably be an all-in-one touchscreen computer or any standard computer set in a designated area with easy access for your technicians. Depending on the size of your service bay, you may want to set up more than one of these designated areas. In our previous video, Writing a Service Order, we wrote a service order for a 2010 Journey Class A motorhome and we will continue with that service order. Your technician will have in hand either the preliminary task list or the technician's task list while at the time clock. In this case, I'll be using the technician's task list. Roger, the technician in this case, will enter his employee number in this box here and then enter his password. He would then select Start Service Order Task. He would then enter the ID number that's associated to the particular task that he will be working on, in this case, from our technician task list. That ID number is 96113, as you can see here. Now he can enter that number using the keyboard. Select Enter on the keyboard. And over here on the right, you'll see the information for this task. Select Saved, select Done, and now he's ready to do the work. Let me note here that some service managers prefer to assign their technician to each task before the tech even sees the vehicle. That's okay. If that were the case, Roger the technician would first come and log into the time clock using his employee number and password. Roger would then select Start Service Order Task. Then here on the left, under the clock, he would select View Task Schedule. And you can see now there are two items on hold for Roger. So he will be able to complete it after he finishes what he has been assigned to. Note that a tech can only place two tasks on hold at a time. Roger would then select which task item he will be working on by selecting the line item to the left of the particular task and then selecting the clock. It then shows that he's ready to start. Select Save. Done. And now he's ready to complete the work. If your time clock were equipped with a barcode scanner, your technician could simply come over to the time clock with the printed technician task list. Click to be sure that the cursor is here in this black box. Scan his employee badge. Select Start Service Order. Scan the item right on the Technician Task List. Select Save. Select Done. And go complete the work. Now let's say some time has passed and Roger has completed his task. He would then come back to the time clock, scan his badge again, and then here on the screen it would tell you you can press Parts Catalog to request a part, which we will do because we know our customer needs brake pads. So we're going to go ahead and put this part number in because it's a common one. We'll select it here. Now it's asking do we want to add a note to the service order. Yes, we do. We want to let our service writer know that the sound that our customer was hearing was brake pads. So we're going to add a note needs front brake pads replaced. We'll select OK. Ask us a quantity. We're going to say one. Brake pads come in a set of two. Now at this point we're going to select Finish Service Order Task. Now here, Roger could continue and select a new task here or scan another task and continue working. He'd then select Done when he was all set. Now there are also times when a technician needs to do certain tasks that don't actually involve a service order. You can track that time as well in order to efficiently run your service base. Let's say it snowed last night and a lot needs to be plowed. Roger would come over to the time clock, punch in, he then select Start Other Task. Now we have a list here for you to choose from. We'll select number 11, Lot Work, select Enter on the keyboard, Done, and now he would go and plow the lot. When he was finished, he'd come back, scan his employee badge again, punch out, save, done, and start another task. Now let's jump back over to Parts and Service. Open that service order. 
So I can show you what your service writer sees on this side. If we jump over to the labor tab, you'll see Tina has already completed the winterization on this vehicle. We have the box checked for complete, how long it took her to do the work, time she's punched in, the time she punched out, and we also see Roger's time as well. Now obviously this is to demonstration purposes, so these numbers aren't accurate, but you get the idea. Now I do notice that the service order is placed on hold. That usually indicates that we need a part. So if we jump over to this parts tab here, we can see the antifreeze was already issued because Tina completed that winterization task. But right here it tells us we need to order this part for this task. But now is the cool part I want to show you. Let's jump over to the tasks. We'll select check tires. And you notice we have a little green light here now. That's telling us we see in a note. We'll open here. And here we can see the note that came in from our technician. Roger's telling us we need front brake pads. So that gives me the opportunity to go ahead and pick up the phone, call our customer and get approval for this. While the service writer calls to get approval from the customer, the parts department can go ahead and order those parts. In our next video, Order and Receive Parts, I'll show how to order and receive the parts.